Hi, I'm Ann from Ann Makes, and today it's time for part three of my craft room tour 2017. To the right of that, we are entering flower, the flower market. So I'm going to back up again. So here, the, that brown uh, wardrobe cupboard thing is a piece that I bought for $25. It was worth about 400 and we had to assemble it. And it is made to, it's a computer cabinet, actually. That's what it is. It's, it's a, a computer, computer cabinet with a desk. But I don't use it for that. In there, I have stored stamps, rubber stamps, and uh, flowers and paper napkins. And above that is... Uh, the rest of my collection of flowers, like all the fabric, silk uh, flowers. Behind those white curtains is a little space. It's very, it's like a closet that I just put in a whole bunch of shelves and there's more storage in there. But it is also where a lot of the, um, the valves are for controlling the water. Uh, in the house to close off pipes and stuff and that's not so pretty to look at but there is a light in there and I've used every inch of available space for storage of course if you'd like to see what's in this cabinet um, just stay tuned above the cabinet are a bunch of these plastic boxes these actually came from Walmart uh, they were like less than two dollars a piece there was a sale I bought oh I think I bought like 20 of them and what I did is I used them to store all my uh, silk flowers I just pulled the heads off of each flower because I really just used the the top of the flower part for my scrapbooking projects and so each flower head is in there And in here, it's quite, it's quite messy right now because I was in the process of reorganizing stuff. So this is just my Christmas st uh, rubber stamps, wooden, wood rubber stamps. And then there's just a mishmash of stuff here. Uh, some paper flowers that I bought not too long ago at Dollarama. There's a cigar box here, and that is full of dried flowers from my garden. And just a whole bunch of other supplies. And it's really hard for... I can't back up. I'm, I'm against a, a wall of storage here. So this is the best I can do to show you what's in here. And here there are drawers. And I have lots of stuff stored in there. This is the part that is intended to be the... I can't use it with my hand. Intended to be the desk that you pull out, pull out so you could use your laptop. But in here, that's not what I did. So this is the shelf that pulls out of that cabinet that I was telling you about that you can use to uh, put your laptop on and work at. So this is like, uh, this is supposed to be a desk. I use this to store this collection that I have of vintage rubber stamps. And this collection is really cool. It was an old school uh, collection. And it's all words and images. And the words there have the images. So you would have something like a streetcar. This is, you know this is old because it, this says streetcar. So that is, and they're very, very old. They've been used, but I just love these. So I have this whole kit that I purchased at a flea market many years ago. I got a very good deal on that. And below that, a basket of some uh, ribbon flowers. And then below that is a drawer and in there I store empty uh, empty containers and bottles to use 
to put uh, smaller quantities of paints and glues and such. I put hooks on the doors to hold up more supplies. A lot of these supplies came from Dollar Here's <laughs> another angle of that uh, desk slash cupboard that I just use for storage. And you can see the um, embellishment center there. And above that, uh, boxes of supplies, lots of canvases. So here we have bookcases uh, filled with books. These are most of my books. Most of those books are on scrapbooking, card making, and other paper crafts. Mixed in there are a whole bunch of tools and supplies that I use in uh, mostly mixed media work. Now I apologize for the mess of boxes and baskets there. But as I said much earlier, or maybe it was in an earlier video, uh, I, I just couldn't wait to clean my room and make it perfect to make a video because you would it would never get that. And those two cardboard boxes mm -hmm. there are full of old books that I bought at a church yard sale uh, last year. And I've been going through them, and uh, they were they were they were not books that are in good condition. They were broken books and really mucked up books. And I've been going through them and saving. I've been going through them and saving the better parts of each book that were the most interesting to me for my collage work and mixed media. And that it's that is what is in those boxes. There's a box that has um, uh, books that are being uh, torn. The pages are being torn out. These are pages that I've decided to keep and uh, because of the images or the uh, printing on them. And yeah, so it's a work in progress. This is a basket of stuff that needs to be uh, sorted and put away. I've run out of room in my sticker bucket here, so there's stickers here that need to be incorporated into all of my sticker storage. So here is a lot of my stuff. And on the bottom shelves, I have a lot of uh, empty scrapbook albums for all the scrapbooks I have yet to make. This is a vintage, I'm showing you the lamp right now, lamp that had this funky little like tray attached to it. And it's one of the first, one of the earlier projects that I decided to refurbish. It is, it's rusted brass under there actually. I rewired the thing too. And I just painted it. I just went to town and just added all sorts of colors to it that kind of fit in my room. And I even glued on the pom-pom trim. I just had fun with this one. And the little tray is actually useful. I used, actually, I used to have this light beside another chair where I did my hand sewing. But now I don't do that. I just use it for storage of jars of beads and necklaces and cotton balls and whole whack of stuff. This is the back of my work table or desk that faces, you see that dresser that I just showed you, that I showed you previously? Yeah, that faces that. As you can see, there is tons of stuff stored there, mostly embellishments. 
little knickknacks, little pieces of this and that for all sorts of projects. I'll show you some of the drawers, how they're labeled. Give you an idea what is in there. Okay. And underneath the table, I have a plastic drawer unit filled with duct tape. Most of it is duck brand duct tape, too. And the rest are mostly from uh, Dollar Tree. Shoe boxes filled with various duct tapes. Beside that is another unit, the, the white unit that I'm showing you here. In there, I have recycled white cardboard, recycled plastics, recycled chipboards, and the bottom drawer is recycled chipboard frames. And above that are more little drawers from uh, Dollarama. Uh, this, this is a workshop supply storage unit that I purchased at Canadian Tire with the plastic drawers. And it holds a variety, mostly of uh, broken jewelry and stuff. Lots of die cuts here. And everything is labeled. Well, mostly everything is labeled. Some stuff is obvious, like these are snowflakes. And then these little drawers, um, they're, they're not that clear, these drawers, so that's why I labeled them. So I know what's in there. And, yeah. Some more little drawers, uh, little pieces purchased from thrift stores, repurposed here to hold all sorts of little goodies and supplies. And above that, I have my collection of uh, date stamps. Some are brand new stamps, and some are very old. Some are very vintage -y stamps. And here's some more shelves. This is the back of my work desk, which I will show you afterwards. I love using these little drawers. And they're full of neat, neat supplies. More boxes up there that hold foam. <laughs> I don't take the price off of stuff I buy at the thrift store. <laughs> That's too funny. And another repurposed little piece. This white, this little white piece is from Michaels. And it has wire in there and some bling. Oh, there's that desk cupboard thing where my flowers are. The lamp, the bookcases, I already talked about what's behind the white curtains. And now for this unit here with, there's a desk under there and another little white unit. That little white unit holds mostly uh, colored uh, sands and rocks. And there's empty boxes underneath there. So, I will talk about what's in this. This is a Sterlite three-drawer unit that is sitting on top of the desk I used when I was in high school. And that is facing my scrapbook papers and my counter, which underneath has uh, stamps, rubber and clear stamps. So, I will get to that. So over here in this little cramped area is a desk. You can see that. There's only about four feet between that desk and the counter that is butting up against my back right now. So that's why I, it's hard to show you uh, a, a wider angle. So the desk I used as a teenager in high school uh, each drawer is labeled with all the supplies I have in there. I mostly store anything that would be 
a metal or foil, but not Cricut, um, to, for the various things I do. And so, so everything is labeled. And in this unit, um, uh, the labels have to be changed. There, there was other stuff in here, but it's completely different now. In here, I have felt die cuts, uh, wood die cuts. This is, um, there's some foam in there, but these are really big stencils that didn't fit where my, uh, all my other stencils are. Those are like wall decor stencils. And in here, this is this is correct, painting tools. In here I have uh, paint brushes, sponges, rollers, uh, a whole bunch of painting tools. So here this is uh, facing the white storage unit uh, that I showed you that I had painting tools in it and wall decor stencils. And this tower here of uh, drawers repurpose or materials to be repurposed for mixed media and collage and as it says here I have uh, handmade or altered papers I do make a lot of paper by hand and I do make uh, gel prints and jelly prints I can say both companies <laughs> because I've worked with both companies um, here I have uh, mostly Vintage postcards, old cards, bookmarks, things like that. Here are the step the when I make a die cut, I keep a lot of the um, negative or positive, and I use these as stencils. So they're in here. And there's a lot of packaging stuff in there that is good for recycling into projects. Here are a whole bunch of paper and chipboard boxes with their templates that I've made. Uh, a whole bunch of collage scraps. And down there I have a bunch of um, yellowed or vintage office supplies. And that's pretty much what it is. And in this basket is a miscellaneous basket of, well, a lot of people would think that this is junk, but some other people would understand me. This is very much like Shannon Green, who I adore, by the way. Uh, you know, she collects all sorts of weird things to make her junk journals and stuff, and so do I. So this is just my system of, or this is my junk organizing for my, uh, Mixed media and junk journals. Okay. Here is some scrapbook paper. The rack, which is fabulous, was gifted to me by my dearest friends for a birthday a couple years ago from a store that was a scrapbook store that was upscaling, was going, was getting bigger, was moving to a newer location and it was bigger and it is still going on today. Uh, her business is booming, which I'm very happy to say, very proud of her. And yeah, so of course it's got scrapbook paper, mostly pads. I try to keep the collections together. Down there, there's a bunch of scrapbook albums. In this box here, this is a an old cereal box that I uh, repurposed. This holds doilies uh, from very large to tiny doilies, a whole bunch. A lot of these are very old, actually. They're brittle, too. Okay, here we have a counter that I had the contractor build for me. I didn't I didn't need something fancy, but this piece of counter actually came from my upstairs master bathroom when uh, we remodeled it. 
I asked the contractor to save a piece so I could make a, a work surface down here. And so there it is. It's actually two pieces um, together. I just put a piece of duct tape uh, so I could keep... The, the, there's a slight, slight crack and it, there were some chips and I just put a piece of duct tape to cover that. And underneath that, I have the storage drawers. They, I've kept the wheels on them. They still work very well. And I have a whole bunch of rubber stamps and clear stamps organized by category or by subject. And just above that, you can see the ribbon handle there. Above that, beneath the counter and just above the drawers, I have some cardboard drawers and an actual printer's drawer, wooden vintage printer's drawer, that holds a, that holds a lot of small rubber stamps. In here is a cardboard drawer that I made to hold many of my stamps that have um, sentiments or words. And in this printer's drawer, as you can see, I've put smaller stamps that fit in the spaces perfectly. Uh, and these, um, these ones I bought at Dollarama. I bought one of each that they had. These are a whole bunch of other little stamps that I have. These drawers are pretty organized. I have a drawer for the letters. The, the categories that I have made that make sense to me. Um, words, I think this one says words. Uh, some still have to be labeled. There's more words there. And above, uh, this is my counter, above that counter, I have, I have some uh, more of those little plastic drawers. And these ones here hold uh, some small punches. And I have some baskets from Dollar Tree that hold some trims and some, my Martha Stewart punches. I don't have a lot of those. And here's another set of drawers. This whole up here, I have the stamps that go with the the Inkadu stamps and the stamping system wheel there that's in here oops and in here is my tool from creative memories the uh, border maker so these are the pieces for the border maker and the cartridges to make all the borders that I have and beside that are two other towers and in here are my letters. Uh, whenever I open up a kit, use some letters, some chipboard letters, foam letters, plastic letters, whatever type, even wooden letters, whatever's left over gets put by alph alphabetically into these drawers. I keep the collections together and when I open them and use them up, what's left goes in here. So then I have a whole bunch of letters to choose from for other projects. So, and in that pink binder are uh, stamps by Sia from Blue Moon Creations um, when I was on the design team. A ribbon stamper, um, a, a punch to die cut. Oh, those cards that you put in the scrapbooks there, the life or planning, whatever. And here are some ribbons, some huge punches. Uh, they're really big and heavy, and I just hung them on the wall like that because I had a spot. It was an empty spot that I filled up with some heavy-duty punches. And a few little... Uh, photo albums that now hold uh, collections of specific stamps. 
more trims. Yeah. So here you go again. So here is a view of my counter where I do a lot of stamping and um, most of my stamps that are in those drawers. Not most of them, but a lot of them by categories. I just showed that to you with the scrapbook paper there, the drawers with my alphabets. And here on this angled wall um, are a series of shelves that my husband put up. And each shelf has these great storage boxes that I purchased at Dollarama, I believe. And in them, I have stored all my ribbons, well, the majority of my ribbons by color. Beneath that is a cabinet, those little brown drawers that you see there with the little knobs. A, it used to hold CDs. I purchased this at a garage sale um, not too far from where we live and it is fabulous storage for all sorts of supplies again everything is labeled uh, this is where I keep strings and ropes for example but everything in here is labeled this is a clear cosmetic bag or purse that I purchased at the thrift store. It is excellent for holding pieces, leftover bits of trims and ribbons. Sometimes I, there are pieces in here that are about one foot long or more, uh, but they were the end of the roll or whatever. So they're all in here. They're just stuffed in here. It's just, I always go to this bag first before I go to the rest of my collection. Beneath that are some 12 by 12 inch Sterlite uh, intended for scrapbooking supplies storage drawers. They are filled with, I have a whole bunch of rulers in one of them, are complete alphabet sets, uh, chipboard alphabets and all the other alphabets that I already explained that when I open a set up, uh, what's left over gets put away back in the little drawers that are above the counter. These are the bins that I like to buy at Dollarama. They're a they, from the Artist series. They are sold with the intention of holding like paintbrushes and stuff, but they fit perfectly. They are the perfect size to fit on this funky shelf here of my CD or DVD storage piece. And I store extra washi, like it says here, washi doubles. All sorts of washies. I even have a box here for uh, shaped sticky notes. And on this side, I use the same boxes for my twine collection. And these are paper uh, twine. And here is um, that mesh there that has uh, the punchinella. I have, there's some very old punchinella in there too. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for part four. Like, comment, subscribe, and please share. And until next time, take care. Bye.